he took up something which is con are not interested. Which is the main thing Papa said it is half of his duty which was not completed. For years, he has been conducting Vanasam seminars, how to understand what is Vanasam. Mindful for years, he was, he was conducting this and he fortunately brought me in. So I have been associating with him for years. And I remember we had a lot of difficulties. Because some people don't want to hear the word Varna Ashram. <laughs> and and can you imagine it's going to what you say, I wish this name does not exist. It was really disturbing for years. And it came to the point where we don't even have a place to have our meeting. They will push us to do. Do not use a Vanasham, rural development. Rural, rural, rural development is just a small thing, just a small thing in the house, in the big house, just, just a small room. Rural development. Don't use the name Vanasham. And we were we, uh, gradually, gradually, gra systematically, let me use the word, systematically pushed out of. The whole system. Now we don't have our regular seminar we do conduct every year in Mayapur. But the Maharaj consistently continued. He was never discouraged. And he's trying and trying and trying. And he traveled so many places. He came to Nigeria and he saw our little effort we're trying to do, do there. I was very surprised. He gave me $1,000 to start. I was shocked to see that. I was not expecting that. This is to show his interest in trying to push on what is reality. So we're very, very grateful that he's here. And he's still pushing on to see that like this, this very important thing, but extremely neglected issue is, is maintained, is, is being cultivated. And I'm also very grateful to His Holiness Radha Govind Maharaj, who is a living Bhagavata. He has trained his devotees, his disciples. And they have been teaching Bhagavatam here in India extensively and outside. And Brash Sundar Prabhu has been my friend for many years. So he has been always telling me his uh, desire to preach Bhagavatam. And he started doing it and gradually he went to Mauritius. From Mauritius he started going to Germany and other places was we went to Latin America. Every time he would be corresponding with me to tell me I'm in this place, we're doing this, we're doing that, and then many, many, many places he has gone to. And finally, he came to the point of having this ISKCON Bhagavad. Mahavidyala. And here we have so many wonderful devotees who are part of the, the program. It is very encouraging and very nice that also a big problem in East that it's only 1.7% of its population that are reading our books, which is nothing, 1.7%. It's not a pass mark. 
but you have decided to take up this um, study of Simon Bhagavatam, which is very, 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 very nice. It's a wonderful thing we ever think of doing in our lives. And Salvapad mentioned what we were reading. It is good to study this literature, study our literature, because can you imagine, can you imagine if Simad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita are removed from ISKCON, what would this movement become? Huh? If Bhagavatam is out of ISKCON, Bhagavad Gita is out, what will you call this movement? No more ISKCON. It's only 1.7 percent of devotees who are reading our books. Not, not to about what time. Even reading our books. So your desire to study Bhagavatam is very, very important. Very encouraging. And if you study scripture, if you study scripture, or if you practice austerity. There are two things they will produce. If you study Bible, the scripture very nicely, or you perform very severe austerity, two things will come from there. Either you are very proud, or you are very humble. There are two things. Not only one. People are very, very intelligent, they're very proud. You cannot find humility with them. <clears throat> so Prabhupada mentioned, quote Prabhu Gay, why it is very important, it's very necessary for us to study these books. The best thing is how our sadhana is being practiced. What does that mean? Krishna, Krishna said in Bhagavad Gita, Vidya Vinaya Sampane. A sage, a great sage, is humble, naturally humble, by dint of knowledge, not pride. I see siege. In other words, knowledge will make us humble, not, not proud. The knowledge will make us humble. Vidya Vinaya Sampane. Krishna has to arrange his words. Hmm. You see the line he put them. Very nice. So we are expecting. We're expecting all of us to try to understand what is Bhagavatam. What is Bhagavatam? When Krishna left Dwarka, his queens were very disturbed. They were suffering from the pains of separation. While they were burning, the fire of suppression, he observed that one of them was 100% peaceful and satisfied. No anxiety. Yes. So they humbly approach her. You are a wife of our husband like us. Every day we are suffering, but hey, why are you so peaceful? We cannot say that you don't love your husband like us. You love him, but why are you so peaceful and not feeling anything? And we are suffering. Kalindi said, Your observation is correct. I love my husband 100%. 
But why are you not in anxiety like us? You're not feeling his oppression? She said, Yes, I'm, I'm not feeling the suppression from my husband because my husband has not left me. Huh? Where's your husband? Bagwata. Proper said, if you open Bagwata, what do you see? Every page of Bagwata is Krishna. It's not theory. It is not theory. It is not fiction. It's not a philosophy. It's reality. So Kalindi said, because I have Bhagavatam, and Bhagavatam is not different from my husband. Therefore, I have my husband with me. That is why there is no pain of suppression like all of you are feeling. They were very satisfied and at the same time still disturbed. So how, how can we... This is Bhagavatam. This is a book we are holding. Yes, yes. But this Bhagavatam has to be given. Our books are called revealed scripture, not study scripture. It is not said study scripture. It is revealed scripture. So we study the scripture to have it revealed, not just study the scripture to become a gyani. We study the scripture to become a humble sage who is humble, truly humble by dint of knowledge, having Lord Krishna directly. So they requested, please, how can we also get back water? She told them, Go and meet Uda. Uda will give you Bhagavatam. If you hear Bhagavatam from Uda, you will realize your husband and you'll be like me. Peaceful. She guided them and directed them. I'm not going to give you the whole story. So they followed that and they met Uda. Uda spoke Bhagavatam. They had Bhagavatam. The anxiety out of pain of separation disappeared. This is Bhagavatam. Not <clears throat> just memorizing slokas to pass the exam. That is, it will not purify us as much as if we are reciting the slokas, as we are chanting Krishna's glories. Different. The mantras, the mantras which we are chanting, they are persons, not just sound, they are persons. The mantra, that is why Hare Krishna mantra gives different results. According to how we understand what we are chanting, it will give you that result. If you are chanting the slokas in the Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, as glorification, of Krishna will become purified. If you are chanting with a different motive, you will become proud because we have not all the thousands of locals of Bhagavatam. I know many people know 700 verses of Gita in their head. Many. I know one lady, one lady, she recited the whole Bhagavad Gita in 30 minutes. All soka, perfectly. But after reciting that, she would take coffee. Means the heart is not become purified because it is mechanical. We want all of you to spend your three years studying Bhagavatam. After three years, we shouldn't be what we are today. We should be different personality. Shalvapad so wanted us to study Bhagavatam from first canto, not from eleventh canto. From first canto. Why? 
because if we study Bhagavatam, if we really study Bhagavatam and we identify ourselves with Bhagavatam, which is Bhagavatam, when we get to the ninth canto, we are no more conditioned souls. We are pure. So by tenth canto, we will be participating with Krishna and his friends. We are participating. If we don't participate, we are outsiders and we will feel different. Ah, Krishna will do like this, but the mind gets disturbed. The Supreme God stole the, the girl's dressing and asked them to come naked before. Is this God? This is illicit sex. Because we are outsiders. So it is expected that when we get to ninth canto, we are now inside. When we hear these activities, we are participating directly with Krishna and his friends who will not feel otherwise because we are eating the same food. If you eat the same food, will you feel envious? No. It is when I look at your plate and some item is there, not my plate. Uh, why? Why that? If it is the same thing, I like it. I like it. So please, I'm begging all of you. I'm begging all of you. I don't know the reason why you have decided to do this, but I'm begging you. Don't be a gyani. Be a bhakta. So the whole party came